on my hair. Uh, you know what day it is? You know what day it is? Come on, you know what day it is, right? Wednesday. No. Not Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Woohoo! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Anyways, we're wow. headed to the thrift store, and if we get some awesome shit, I will let you. All right, guys, I figured I'd show you kind of what it looks like in this outlet store. Um, we're, right now, we're sitting over here, and we're uh, looking stuff up. Those are our baskets. We always look stuff up before we purchase it. That way, we know what we're getting. So uh, let me kind of show you around. So just so you guys can see, I mean, this is kind of what I ended up with in my cart. That's Gil Mama's cart right there. That's you want to see my happy dance? What'd you find? Okay, what's that worth? Uh, I don't know. I, I saw one for 90 bucks and one for 150. Oh, wow. Sweet. So, I mean, you can see that's kind of what we do. We, we look up each individual item with our uh, smartphones and we got to look at the selling price so that we can see what the market is willing to pay for stuff. Um, I just finished looking up this Mr. Coffee machine um, and it's a Mr. Coffee Keurig and on eBay they sell for around 30 bucks so I think I'm going to get it because it's not that dirty it won't take me that long to clean up but we'll see on the outside. Hey guys got Gil Daddy being my little slave boy today pushing the cart for me but I'm going to show you what we got and we got quite a bit today. Hey what's up guys? Uh, this is our haul for today, so let's see what we got. Um, these are drawers for our warehouse, so that's what we're going to use these for. We can pick these up whenever we can. Alright, what else we got? Uh, build a bear clothes by themselves, not that much. In a big lot, 30 40 bucks. So. Alright, this. Find of the day! I won, okay, I won today because I found this right here. For now. Now, always keep your eye out for that brand, Vitamix, okay? That is the brand you want to, always want to look for. I tested this motor. Motor runs beautifully. Here's the pitcher blender jar deal. This thing by itself, just this piece, it's like $70 on eBay. Now, we are missing the lid. You can, I can pick up the lid and pusher and all that stuff for probably 15, 20 bucks if I want to make it complete. But complete, used, cleaned up, 280 to $300 for this kitchen appliance. So this was an amazing find right here. I'll come back and win. <laughs> uh, Beanie Babies. Um, my wife's a hoarder when it comes to Beanie Babies. So, um, Lies. She ha and it has to have the tag on it. So sometimes when I see him, I rip the tag off before <gasps> she sees that. What? <laughs> He's lying She's anyways. got a mountain of these things, I tell you. They're his. He Empty sleeps box. with them. Just, we always look for little boxes that are easy for shipping. My gloves. There's some lovely gloves. Uh, this is a steering wheel mount for Xbox 360. They go for 25 bucks. All right, easy bake ovens. I don't for suggest, a friend. I don't suggest looking for these to sell. I mean, sometimes you can sell them, but a friend of ours uh, told us that her daughter wanted to get these things. Want to get one of these to bake, so we pick one up for Alright, Dirty Senseo. It's going to a little bit of cleaning, but they go for 30, 30, 40 bucks. So, and it's complete. It's got all the parts. Alright, guitar, rock band, pedal, you know those. Uh, 15 bucks or so. Guitars, we get those. Between 20 and 30 bucks a piece. Got four of them today. This is a corded one. I think this one goes for a little less, maybe 20. Just like uh, last week, we found one of these, 25 bucks. Remember, they go to an Oscar Kitchen Center. Here's a Mr. Coffee uh, Keurig machine. Uh, this thing goes for about 30 bucks to use. Another lovely bin for our warehouse. 
All right, this, I just kept the box so I'd have some information on it. Um, but this is an Atlas HO scale motorized racing. We've got a bunch of parts in there. I'm gonna use the box to try to get a little bit more information on what year it's from and stuff. But that's the only reason why I kept this nasty box. All the stuff's in here though. Here's a Craftsman charger for some kind of power tool. How much does this go for? Uh, like 20, 25 bucks. 20, 25 bucks. Lightsabers. Again, in a big <laughs> lot. In a big lot. They go for money. Scrabble pieces. If you collect these and just get a whole bunch of them, put them in a big lot, scrapbookers buy them. So not a whole lot of money there. Stocking stuffers that the wife got. This box here has uh, some Winnie the Pooh, Polly Pocket miniature stuff that'll go for about 20. There's some Stampin' Up stamps. We've got a bunch of them in here that she'll put in a lot for probably 15, 20 bucks. And then there's some Thomas stuff to go with our and Thomas Lego. Lot. Oh, and some Legos. So just little miscellaneous odds and ends. All right, this I assume was for? For the beautiful daughter. Oh, for our daughter. Okay, because I don't think these stuff. No. Oh, look. There's the uh, Sony radio that you've seen inside that she thinks my happy dance get, like seventy eighty dollars out of I don't know why but Sony stuff collectors are weird. Uh, the remote we've been searching for for like two months. Yeah, they go for fifteen bucks, ten fifteen bucks, but we need one for uh, an item we have. So, so it will get listed. Modems fifteen bucks. We have power cables at, at the house. There's some more Stampin' Up stamps. Ew, there's something more wet in there. Up stamps. Uh, food saver stuff. She got that for a stocking stuffer because it's new. Barbie. And look, check this out. This is all the, the racing stuff. Hopefully it's all here, but this is all the track. It's got the transformer. It's got the uh, controllers, steels here. A bunch of cars. So, some cars, a little dirty, but they're vintage. They're all from, it looks like they're all from the 60s. But all this stuff, I'm guessing probably 50, 60 bucks. Probably. Maybe a little less or maybe a little more if it's complete. I know these things completed like 200 bucks. I don't think it's complete. I, I don't know yet. We'll have to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what we spent. We got 75 pounds today, and we spent $25.04. We are probably going to go to lunch now, and eventually we'll put in here somewhere what it's all worth today. Later. All right, guys, so it's about 12.30 right now, and we're heading home, and we got some stuff to package up and ship out to the post office. Of course, we got to stop at that one thrift store that we always do on the way back from the post office, so maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. Um, but I think a pretty good score overall today. Uh, you know, if, if any of you guys watching, if, you, if you're not selling on eBay and you're thinking about doing it, uh, just get out there and do it. You know, quit being lazy, quit talking about it. You know, I... I know a lot of people that talk about it, that sit there and say, you know, I'm going to go out and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'd like to do that. You know, I'd like to, to start selling some stuff on eBay and make some money. That seems like a pretty sweet gig, you know, I'm, I'm going to do that. But they never do. And usually I think the biggest obstacle for them is they've never done eBay. They don't know how to do it. You know, but I mean, shit, what does it take? An hour of your time to go on to eBay, sign up for an account, look at the little deals on there. They tell you exactly how to do it. They'll walk you through it step by step, get you set up, and within a month, I mean, you'll be you'll be a pro at it. So quit being lazy, get your ass off that couch, and go make some money. 